Hello and welcome to my channel, AB Make It Artwork, where we do what we do to make that artwork for you. And if you're new to my channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. Join the AB Creative Crew. We do sketchy art things. I'm going to start this video with a quick recap on some of the stuff I've already discussed. In the first video, I discussed commission prices and sometimes the conditions that can come with the price of your commissions, whether that be size or the subject you're drawing. In the second video, I talked about how there's things that you do need for online commissions if you're just starting out and things that you may not need until you see it from more of a business aspect. And today's video is going to be talking about different account types as far as with your bank goes and touching more on the subject of what's the difference between art as a hobby and art as a business as far as some of the legal standpoint goes. So let's get on with that. By the way, the first clip is going to be a bunch of me practicing drawing stuff because a friend of mine suggested that I should showcase that I also can draw animals because it's very true that if you want to do commissions that sometimes if you do portrait commissions for instance people really love getting portraits of their animals but if that's not your thing don't showcase that but a lot of people really love getting portraits of their animals just so you know and with that real quick out of the way let's talk about different account types and the cards that come with those different accounts types. Now unless you've taken a class on money management or different bank accounts like I had to do, it was a young living class that prepared you for adulthood. That magical fiesta of life <laughs> and depression. Um, the first account type that you will usually get out of bank is a savings account savings you can put money in it you can take money out and that's your gist of it now aside from being your starter account when you get a savings account from your bank depending on how the bank runs you will usually get an ATM card and some people get confused about what's the difference between an ATM card <laughs> sorry for the noise in the background and what is a debit card an ATM card is kind of just as just what it sounds like. You can use it at ATMs to withdraw money and you can use it at some select stores, but because of of this one particular brand, it's really it can act like a debit card at some stores, but it's only at particular stores because it's not a main brand card to use. It's one of those not as well-known card brands that not all stores accept. So you can usually withdraw your money from the ATM and that's its most viable function. And depending on your bank account, it usually will have a limit all the time as to how much you can take from your savings account. Now, checking account, it's the account that you will usually add on if you wanna pay bills via checks, which Again, it sounds pretty obvious. Savings, you expect to save money and maybe take money out every now and again. Checking, you get it because you want to write out checks. And when you start a checkings account, you can get a debit card. And the thing with debit cards is that it's a more well-known brand. You'll usually get your debit card as maybe a MasterCard or a Visa brand so that it's more accessible to use at different stores. And with this card, you can use the credit or, yeah, the credit option instead of going straight debit. And the difference between those kind of payments is that if you put on your card, your debit card, as the debit option, it'll withdraw funds from your account right away. And if you choose the credit option, it puts that payment on hold and will go through two or three days later. So I definitely don't suggest you overusing your credit option. Had a friend who would do that a lot. Ended up $200 in the hole because her bank would not 
stop her funds at a certain point. And this is the one that people sort of get confused with their debit card and their credit card. The credit card goes under loan accounts. And again, loan accounts are if you get a loan for a house or a car or student loan from your bank, you kind of have to sit down, talk with a financial advisor, ask for a loan, they'll usually approve you or not. And this type of loan account, you can get a credit card. And with the bank that I used to use, uh, it was a federal credit union. You had to set up a certain amount from your account so that it would be your limit. My limit was $500. You don't ever want to reach your limit, by the way, because you can be charged $5. And if you go over your limit, that's more debt incurred onto you. And the way that credit cards work is that Although you have a certain amount, like $500 set aside, technically what you're doing is you're borrowing time, borrowing money from your account, from the bank, with your credit card for all the payments, and then you have to pay that money back to the bank with other accounts. That whole $500 deposit is just a safety net for if you ever want to close out your credit card because you can no longer continue to pay it. And it's not very necessary to have a credit card, by the way. Debit cards will usually work just fine for all your online banking needs. Now, that might have been a lot to go through, a lot to sit through as far as the whole banking accounts, cards. Not everyone knows this information. Um, you probably could find it if you looked up banking accounts and what's the difference between a debit and a credit card. But I'm hoping with how I explained it that it was really easy for you to understand and will help you in your art career. Now, something that I kept trying to find, what's the difference between art as a hobby and art as a business? And it always seemed like very badly explained on a lot of the sites that I went to. I was trying to find sites on how much can you earn from art before IRS says, hey, no, you've got to identify yourself as a business. And I couldn't necessarily find that exact info, so it might change from state to state. And finding any overarching theme of how much money can you make from art before a hobby turns into a business is very hard to see. But they had some legalities, legalities or most of it had to deal with intention. So with hobbies, art as a hobby, you can do it for fun. You may earn income from it, but it has to be very small side income. It can't be your main source of income. You cannot depend on this income for your livelihood. And if you are depending on this income for your livelihood, you have to file out special forms um, I've heard that it's called a Schedule C form, which that form tracks all of your expenses, all of your income, money going in and out. And if you're going to be a business, here's another thing though, before I go strictly into business, if you're trying to claim that for your hobby, the cost of your supplies, you can't do that because you'd have to then classify as business. And when it comes to identifying yourself as a business, some states will have it to where you have to get both the state license and the city license. Now, where I was from when I started up a convention, it's very easy to get a business license. It's only $50 a month, but you do have to also raise some more money and have some really good friends to help you write out your paperwork. But that was in regards to starting up a nonprofit. But nonetheless, it's still $50 to get a business license. That's not a whole lot of money. And you may be looking at another 200 for any other licenses or paperwork that you need to go through as far as your art business goes, and it usually goes under the crafting and fine arts category. You don't need to have, by the way, a degree or like you don't need a master's in fine arts. You don't need a bachelor of fine arts to start an art business. 
You just have to have the supplies, the will, and the license to declare yourself as a business. So, like I said with the hobby part, for business, your art has to be your main source of income. Or just a large portion of your income was one of their criteria. And if you are seeking to gain profit from your art, that also counts as a business maneuver. So not a lot of artists on YouTube discuss that they have a business license. I would hope that they have a business license for what they're doing because making prints, doing commissions, making, well, mass producing comics and stuff, you'll think, yeah, that's something that would certainly require you have a business license to be producing and selling these things. And there's not a whole lot of in-depth videos in regards to the process of getting a business license. And this will be my last video discussing all of this subject. But I will be making a playlist for you guys to watch in which I will try to find as many art business tips as possible in regards to taxes, how do you start up, and that playlist will be on my channel and you can find it. And if I can get it up here on the video, it'll most likely be in the upper right corner with the little information bar if I ever figure that out. Or maybe I'll just have a link to it in the description down below. I hope that this information was helpful for you guys, that this maybe enlightened you on the difference between art as a hobby, art as a business, and maybe assisted you with figuring out, oh, that's what the difference between this card and that card is, and whatnot. Because <laughs> I know not a lot of people understand how the bank account systems work, like what's the difference, or what's the difference between cards, unless, again, you've gone into those classes. So I hope that you guys are having a wonderful crafty day wherever you are and that if you want to share this with your crafty art friends who are considering doing commissions or starting their art as a business to earn money from it, go ahead, share this with your friends, share it with your sketchy art pals, and as always, make sure that you lovely people do what you do to make that artwork for you. If you want to follow me on my other social media, I have a Instagram, a Tumblr, a Twitter, DeviantArt. All those links will be in the description down below. Give this a thumbs up if you thought it was informative. And I think I will see you guys in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.